When Israel and the UAE normalized relations, it became the first peace agreement between the Jewish state and an Arab state in 26 years. Within four months, Bahrain, Sudan and Morocco also signed on to the Abraham Accords. It is very rare that there's an opportunity for a win-win that can be transformational not just for a country but for a region. And the Abraham Accords is that transformational moment in history. What makes these agreements different is the focus on including business, tourism, education and research between the countries. That's helped open the doors to nearly $2 billion worth of business deals. This has been a very unique opportunity between UAE and Israel to come with an agreement of peace and tolerance together. What this has done is realign the Middle East between countries that want peace and prosperity and countries that don't, and countries that will want to continue to battle age-old conflicts and don't care about their people as much as they should. Jerusalem Deputy Mayor Fleur Hassan Nahum and Abdallah Bakir work together on the UAE-Israel Business Council. The Abrahamic Accords, it's not about the Jews and the Muslims. It's also have other nationalities, other religions that they're involved into this because we all live together. We hope that the momentum that is created will be enough for other countries to join the alliance of the good countries in the Middle East. That kind of thinking led to an agreement this week between the Jerusalem Center for Public Affairs and Bahrain's leading research institute. In light of Iran's recent attacks on ships, it aims to build a coalition of Abraham Accords countries and others in the region. When people of similar sentiments in the Middle East work together and expose what they are doing across our region and suggest a different path, we can actually win that war of ideas. When it comes to the Accords, the United States played a major role, including players like Arie Lightstone, former advisor to the U.S. ambassador to Israel. There was an artificial line dividing Israel and other nations in the region and beyond, and it just didn't make sense. Lightstone says the U.S. brought allies together, erasing unnatural divides and trying to remove the hurts. Look at the places that are pillars of hope and light for the region, Bahrain, the United Arab Emirates, and obviously the state of Israel. When they can work together, it's going to drive more opportunity for more people in the region. Given the recent leadership changes in the U.S. and Israel, some feared the Accords might not last. The Abraham Accords and peace in general is not a Republican thing. It's not a Democrat thing. It's an American thing. And America belongs during this car in order to gain this transformation. And, and we should be there. You know, the Americans did the fantastic thing of creating the circumstances for this peace and pushing us all together. But now that it's been signed, everybody's 100 percent committed. And now it's got its own legs. Lightstone's advice to those on the outside is to continue to pray. They're called Abraham for a reason. This is the reunification of Abraham's children. This was brought together by the United States of America, who saw the region clearly, embraced our friends, and made very clear demands of our enemies. And next time visitors travel to Israel, take a trip to the Gulf states. Simply say, I'm here because you stood with Israel and I stand with you. Julie Stahl, CBN News, Jerusalem.